Thank you very much um, to Simag today for organising this and Bill and um, all the other speakers. It's really um, it's really encouraging to hear, especially uh, the doctors, of what they've found and the PhD students. It's giving, I guess, um, wind to our sails. All right, what I'm going to do is provide a timeline of what's happening at, um, in the Hawkesbury area. We've, we didn't want to really invent the wheel, so we called our program um, uh, HiMag. <laughs> so basically, um, uh, the Hawkesbury area, it's, uh, I think it's about 2,000, just over 2,500 square kilometres. It's got a population of, of um, just, uh, just under 65,000 people. Hawkesbury Council employs around about 270 people and we're in about, say, 50 kilometres west of the Sydney CBD. So that gives you an idea of, OK, where we stand in relation to employees, time and the area that, we, that we've got. The, um, the Hawkesbury area comprises roughly of about um, seven built-up areas and, um, and the remainder of that, we like to call it the Hawkesbury area, a peri-urban or semi-rural area, those other areas. Um, uh, of people's acreage, small farms and so on, and, and the remainder of that is within National Parks land. So basically, Hawkesbury Council is, is a, a small employer, but at the same time, it's a, it's a very large area that we're looking after. Those Indian miners, we, we haven't really done a, um, a survey of where those species are. We've, we've received a lot of, I guess, anecdotal information, people over the phone, etc. And it's quite typical, the Indian miners are in the urban areas. Okay, that's our mission statement. We always advertise that when we, um, when we write our newsletter, just to let people know that we're about the humane control, we're about education, and we're, all, and we're about protecting the biodiversity of the Hawkesbury area. Getting back to the Hawkesbury, so it's very diverse. There's over, I think there's roughly 70 different vegetation communities in the Hawkesbury area. My, my, my background is the community bush care officer, so, my, so with that, my knowledge and expertise is with plants. And um, we undertake bush regeneration in the Hawkesbury area. So with bush regeneration, we're restoring natural areas, removing weeds, creating a better habitat for our native fauna. Um, it was interesting what, um, Dr, what Dr Kate was talking about earlier. The Indian, she's found that the Indian miners are impacting on the fringes of bushland. And that's where a lot of our bush care sites are. We've got a lot of remnant trees, fantastic um, hollows and so on, where we have um, native fauna uh, nesting. In relation to the, the diversity of the Hawkesbury area, we've got um, eight different possum species. So, and, um, so that, that, that really is that correlation. All those different types of um, plants and vegetation communities correlates to those different types of species. With microbats, we have about 18 different microbats. And look, I'm not a bird person, but I do. I am aware that we've got a stack of uh, bird species. The, the, the local bird group, they love coming out to the Hawkesbury and um, doing all their bird counts. All right, so what I'm going to be talking about now is the, basically the growth and the interest that um, HiMag has has um, had over the years. So first off, we'll go in 2008. 2008, because we're a small council, and I look out, I guess I look after the biodiversity of plants and the correlation that native animals like to hang out in the local bush. Anything with the pests and so on would tend to come to me. And um, around about 2008, I started getting a lot more calls about Indian miners. And the council wasn't doing anything about Indian miners, but I'd still take the call. And as I started getting more and more calls, I, I thought, I'd better start researching this. I'm getting more calls. And then um, we were quite lucky in 2009, um, Shoalhaven Council, they had the Indian Minor Forum or conference that, um, that the, the Canberra group was um, heavily involved with. And at that, similar to this, um, similar today, um, all the council spoke about well, what, they're, what, what they're doing, we're doing this and we're doing that. And um, I was very lucky that um, a fellow worker of mine, Mr Gary Baldry, he's a regulatory services uh, manager, and he was always saying, Marty, Marty, it's your job, the Indian Minor Control, because they're, they're living in bush and affecting the native animals. And I said, no, no, Gary, it's your job, mate, because it's, it's an environmental health problem. Because I was a bit nervous to take it on, such a, um, uh, a large workload, and, 
and he was sort of like passing the buck as well. Anyway, when the um, Canberra group um, had, had the forum, he said, Marty, it's on, you should go down. I said, I'll go if you go. And so we both went. And we we're really sold on the, on the Shoalhaven model because as, um, as Bill was saying, look, the Shoalhaven model really puts the onus on the community, but at the same time, the, the council is really giving him a helping hand. So in 2009, we had the um, in, uh, little Indian miner forum in the Hawkesbury area, we invited all the people, and bang, it went up to, um, we had over 100 people turn up to that day, just, just from advertising in the local paper and so on. And then it was crazy within the next year. We, at that, um, in that forum, we had a lot of guest speakers, as Bill was saying, um, speakers on native animals, speakers on, um, on environmental health and so on. And it was really fantastic to have all those speakers there because we had such a wide array of questions from the general public saying, how come I can't just poison them? No, it should be just a council job, etc., etc., etc. And all those questions were, a were answered and so on. We also did a call out for a volunteer um, area coordinator. Now this guy here, his arm, Jeff Wynn. Now everybody needs a Jeff Wynn. The volunteer, volunteer area coordinators are essential, I guess, for our program in working. Because I guess my time is really limited. It's a bit similar. It's a bit different to um, the Wollongong model. The Wollongong model, I guess, so they're putting a lot more time and effort. We're just, um, I guess, we're just giving the, the public the information, and and they're taking it from there. However, we're giving him the correct information. Now, Jeff said his time. He was the first guy um, who joined up with the camp with the with High Mag. He was so keen before High Mag started. He drove down to Canberra to to purchase a, tra a trap from Bill. He, he was really keen. Um, he's done four trap building workshops in the Hawkesbury. He's done other trap building workshops for other councils. Um, he's made over fifty traps. He's caught over close to. Um, I think close to 500 birds. He loans traps out as well. So he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a massive help. Now then, um, through the years, the, the way it's been going up, we've been basically trying to maintain the rage of high mag. How we do that was basically what Bill said. Um, media, workshops, um, constantly being out there. I go to a lot of um, community events. You know how the, um, local community groups hold um, stalls like the um, Scarecrow Festival, the local um, Hawkesbury um, uh, Ag Show, the agricultural. So we always, got, we always have like an Indian minor poster in the trap there and there's people always asking questions. It's such a draw card. Um, so again, I've got to say, as Bill was saying, we've got to maintain the rage with our Indian minor control and and promotion. Okay, and just to um, finalise, look, there, there's, a, there's a Canberra model. I know um, Courtney from Yorubadella Council, she's doing it a little bit differently. I'd highly recommend that you contact all these people, try to work out what works for you. It's not too hard to start up a program and um, look at um, the Shoalhaven Group, SIMAG, they were really helpful. They sent me every, all of their information. We just changed the letterhead, the logo, and we took it from there. That's, it was very easy. Um, so there's no need to, to, um, to reinvent the wheel. And, um, uh, and I, I, again, I'd just like to reiterate it. The, the biggest selling point for Hawkesbury Council was we only facilitate the program. The, the community um, run with it. So I guess our, not that our hands are washed or our hands are clean of it, but it, it really puts the onus on the community and we're sort of like just directing them and giving them the correct information. And again, maintain the rage because... <laughs> and um, finally, there's all my contact details. If, if um, anybody wants um, any of, any of the information digitally, I'm happy to email it to them and so they don't have to, I guess, have uh, less work. Thank you very much.